siege or for a battle? Neither. Probably. How would I know? Yeah, why are you asking me? Dude, why are we do? I didn't want a battle. I wanted diplomacy. Yeah, no kidding. Why? Uh, we went there just for a fight? I guess. Try to engage and pin them down. Lead the battle for me, Golden Company. Let's see or lead the battle for me. Which one? The only one that affects us is let's see. Yeah. Let's try it or lead the battle for me. I mean, we hired the Golden Company to do what they do best. If but they did can't, we actually hire them? We got the money from the, the Tyrells to buy them. Didn't we just kind of like start with them? Yes, Cersei? I think we just like started and somebody from the Golden Company was like, Hey, yo. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you want me to train them? I, like, what do I know about training? <laughs> so, let's see. Lead the battle for me. It's your choice, man. Uh, it's right. Cersei's let's choice. Let's see. The Northmen advance as a thick fog spreads through the battlefields. The commanders are eagerly looking to you. Archers can't do shit with that fog, probably. True. So, infantry... Wildfire and fog. Fog or wildfire just add more smoke to that fog. Well, I don't know. It would just burn. It wouldn't burn the fog or anything, but like it would just help. It would just burn like it normally would. Fog probably wouldn't affect the like wildfire activating or doing its thing. I'm just thinking like poor vis visibility. You don't want to throw that on your own guys in the fog just because it's like you can't see them. Let's do infantry. Our, our knights. Knights? Knights or infantry, because knights are all on horseback, I'm assuming. Well, they're just they're in armor, so they're... Okay. They're more beefy. Uh, God, okay, okay. knights. Are eagerly let's looking do, let's, at you. Let's do knights. Yeah, sure. Wait, look at their eyes. <laughs> you guys worried? <laughs> he blinks. Does he move? I don't think any of them are moving, so I'm just going to choose him. Well, now I moved. Not very efficient. Disorganized and not Why? very efficient. Regroup, 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 regroup. You guys can do it. Emerges um, suddenly from the fog. They're threatening you directly. Okay, wildfire them. Oh, no, it's not that close, dude. That's a <coughs> terrible decision. The group of wildlings emerges. <coughs> Infantry. I'd say. Yeah. What the fuck? Okay. Regroup. Large party of Northmen on your left Archers flank. Them. Archers. Did we die? Okay. I think we died. I don't think. No, we didn't. We just we lost. Okay. Damn it. Pray to the warrior. <laughs> run. Pray to the warrior. Let's just run. Fuck it. What? Fine. What the hell? That was. I didn't want it to be a battle. No. Make them get along. Wells are starting to dry up. We just lost a battle. Well, clear uh, the slums. Dig deeper, boy. She would clear the slums, probably. Probably. <laughs> Quite some debt with the Iron Bank. It'd be hard to spend that much on beer and whores alone. Not my business. <laughs> I will be cautious, is what she'd say if she was talking to anybody about the Iron Bank. She'd True. put on a strong no, face. Yeah, if she was talking about the Iron Bank. Yes, I do wish to attend. Uh, projects, please. Yes, projects. Diplomacy didn't work last time. Forget it, you son of a bitch, Dugas. Rebuilt the dragon pit? Why would we do it? I don't... That's not what I wanted to choose. This is some real creepy stuff. This music. Yeah, this is like prophecy-style shit. Or... Or... Arya... Doing assassin stuff or sleuthing, yeah. It's this... like the house of the uh, <clears throat> uh, black and white. Gosh, she was in. This is a freaky. This is such good music, dude. And those those moments when the show really gets down to the nitty and gritty, like you said, like it's just like either edging on a, a lore or horror moment, or getting really deep into like a fantasy kind of thing. And this music starts playing, and they're talking in low tones, and you're just like. 
Ooh, yeah, this is this is good. Let's let's bundle up and just dig into this like, mm, to- like great storytelling. Yeah, the music really emphasizes a lot of the the pivotal moments in the show. Like when the the Bear and the Maiden Fair, like that was a fun musical moment and it made sense to like that that um that episode and then the the whole reigns of castamere shit that happens Dude, i can't wedding. i can't I w- hear the reigns of castamere without getting at least like a little bit of the, a knot in my stomach where i'm just like like it's so especially when they play it with those old tiny instruments where it's <laughs> yeah those guys are just playing and up when there you, when you watch that episode and you know what's coming and you hear those first notes they played that that room perfectly. Your your entire perception of that moment and also your mood kind of just like shifts in that moment. It just turns like about a real weird like forty nine degrees. And yeah, some people don't catch on, but like when uh, Catelyn like oh. turns open the oh god when she yeah Roy, or uh, that's, Bruce's that's the real cloak, big we're like fuck and he's just sitting there like that was my first sign too because when I was watching it and he closed they closed the doors. Mm-hmm. I didn't really think much of it. And she's like standing up looking at the door. Well, because she's, yeah, because she's like, what's going on That's here? weird that like literally everybody's gone except for us now and they're closing the doors. That's odd. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, ooh, that's some good TV right there. It is. The first, the, it, that, and it's so unnerving. You're like, you're feeling so like, you want to look t- away. You want to talk about unnerving? There's like a wailful like moan that Catelyn does as like the last thing in the entire episode. Well, yeah, right. When, when she, she cuts that other chick's throat. Yep. She lets out this like, ah, like this noise that is just like, Oh my Guttural, God. Like, yeah. Holy sh- really I hurt. rewound that and watched that about five times. Cause I was just like, it gave me chills every time. And I was like, that's incredible. That's good acting right there. And the fact that after she has that horrible, painful moan, like, and then she gets slit. Well, she's like immediately, like during that kind of, she gets her throat cut. Well, she kind of sits there and she goes, ah, like she just lets she's everything like, out and then just oh. everything goes. And then, I mean, I'll, kind of like, thank God they didn't do Lady Stoneheart because yeah, that having that happen, less effect. having that happen at the Red Wedding and then like we don't see her later on. You remember that scene where the Hound finds the rest of the the Brotherhood Without Banners and they're hanging those people? Yep. And they're all sitting by the the like river having a fire and all that? Mm-hmm. For a second in my mind, I was like, if they were ever going to actually bring her into the story, this is probably where they do it. But he takes a piss in it instead. Because everybody that happened, everybody that is there when like that kind of stuff happens in this book is there in the show. Yep. And they're by the river and they're, they kind of talk a tiny little bit about history about like the Starks. And I was like, ooh, if they just find her body by the river, ooh, that's going to be a big thing. But just to, like that would be such a big punch in the gut I know. for the Red Wedding to happen. And then all that time, you don't ever think she's coming back. Then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, my God, Catelyn Stark is back. Yeah, that would have been awesome because in the book, she is like the leader of the Brotherhood. For a while, I, I stopped reading those books after quite a bit. But yeah, they found her like in a, in a river or a uh... lake bed. We're still Cersei, 12 moons. Cersei, 12 moons. 13 moons now. Unlucky number for us. What should I do? I don't care. I. She wouldn't ask for advice. Fantasy! But she probably also wouldn't say fantasy. But she wouldn't ask for advice. She wouldn't say, what should I do? Yeah, she would To say, anybody. Just say fantasy. Unless it was like her dad or Jamie. Fantasy! Mmm! Poppycock! Please reveal the great sept. If you bust my reign. Oh, that she would, she would, totally she would pull that car. Conniving shit here. This is probably going to be very big, bad star. <gasps> very big, good star. Good stars. <laughs> the blessing wins the support. Two stars fanfare for that one. <laughs> <laughs> and the new great sept will be built very slowly. <laughs> very slowly. Arrest the killer of Cersei's men. Win a battle against Dorne. Reveal. Okay. Caution with these cell swords. Their price is just. Don't worry. Thank you. Don't worry. I. Don't... Oh my God. Would she just like go? Thank you for your. She probably said acknowledgement or something. And then that happened. We died. And now, fifteen moons out, Cersei die. Cersei dead. Oh no, Cersei go go. I think that was a a fun little reign of Cersei. That yeah. was a lot of like, being a. It felt like we were choosing what Cersei would try to 
gear toys. Which is tough to do because it, it drains your resources so quickly. I wasn't even watching that. I was just looking at the choices, like what she would say. Well, and it's interesting that they actually, like, because they've, when we unlocked her in the game, when we killed her, and then it said new queen cards added or whatever, like, that those were, those were either our choices of response or what they were prompting to us that they added. And some of them were, like, more tuned towards Cersei. Mm-hmm. Where some of her responses were, like, only if you bless my reign. Yeah. And, like, responses that she would she would pull that card. Yep. Those underhanded things, like, hey, it's a give and take here. <laughs> well, more of a take and receive. <laughs> yeah. She's uh, for definitely Cersei. out for That's how her, own, her own self-interest here. She's going to take what she wants, and she's going to receive what she expects from you. Mm-hmm. Well, that was uh, Reigns. <gasps> Reigns. Game of Thrones. Is this like a series? Is there other Reigns type I'm f- games? I'm fairly certain that there are. I don't know how many of them there are, but this is, uh, there are other Reigns games, which who knows? There could be another, like, there there could be another franchise or like kind of Reigns game that is interesting or fun or if you're a fan of it. Reigns of Castamere. 